One of the reasons why we wanted to establish the Mount Sinai Institute for Exposomic Research is because environment plays a role in every disease. Exposomics is to understand all exposures, both chemical and social, that we as human beings experience from the time we start to develop in utero all the way to the end of our lives. We know that what happens to you very early in life predicts your health later on in life. So we want to measure all of the factors that pregnant moms are exposed to so we can start to understand what things are potentially affecting their child's life later on in their health. There are lots of different ways to measure environment for pregnant moms, and the technology to do so is growing on a day-by-day -day basis. So one of the ways that we do it is actually using satellites. So satellites are measuring the quality of our air, they're measuring our weather, they're measuring our temperature. We can get a sense of how our climate has changed over time. And so if we know where you live, if we know where you work, we can attach an estimate of those different exposures. What we're trying to do is define your exposures over a 40-week period. We want to understand what time window during pregnancy is a developing child most vulnerable to the impacts of exposure X in relationship to outcome Y. We have the tools here at the Institute for Exposomic Research at Mount Sinai in our laboratory to measure not just one, 10, or even 100 chemicals at a time. Now we can measure thousands of chemicals at a time and to find signals that we could use to alert us of those who might be at particular risk and do something about it before they actually develop disease. There's not a single exposure that's going to influence child disease. We know that people experience multiple exposures. I'm really excited about moving from looking at single exposures to looking at mixtures of exposures. I focus on the nutritional status of a woman during pregnancy, and I relate that to child asthma. One of the factors that we study a lot is maternal psychosocial stress. When you have stress, there are actual biological reactions that happen in the body that can influence the developing child. What we've come to understand is it also is important to mom's health. It's not only important to mom's health in that she may experience complications of pregnancy, but that first pregnancy also has long-term implications for mom's cardiovascular health, her respiratory health, her neurodevelopment, mental health trajectories over the rest of her life course. What's most exciting about exposomics to me as a clinician is in my heart of hearts, there's huge potential for prevention and intervention.